the Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. My guest chef this week is Tom Mullally. He is a chef instructor at the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach, as well as a catering company owner, Strand Catering in Myrtle's Inlet. Tom Mullally. Tom, Bob, it's always you, a friend? pleasure. Well, it's great because you right. well, you just have the flavor of not only the outdoors, but fish, okay? Endless. You, you do it, okay? So what do you got for me today? We are here in the Grand Strand. We've got our fresh local Atlantic waters in the background. So yeah. this is fresh uh, Beeliner Snapper. Oh, wow. Very sim similar to a red snapper. It's just a little bit smaller, okay. but the filleting consistency is beautiful. So we're gonna lightly season it, a little salt and pepper, no bland food allowed as we know. Ah, bland food never impresses. There you go. <laughs> and then we're gonna do this in a little flour and oh, egg really? wash, hmm. just to be a little bit different. We're gonna lightly dredge it in there, shake off the excess. Okay. And here's a little egg wash, just whole eggs and a little half and half cream. Now this is a little bit different spin than you normally do. It is, it is. It's okay. got a little Italian flair to a little uh, red snapper franchise. Okay. Hmm. I hear that sizzle. I do. We're going to get that to be a nice golden brown color, and again, it's in a light egg wash. Okay. We're going to top it off with a little lemon sauce, put it over a little petite pasta, fresh baby spinach, a little bacon in that spinach. We're in the south, you got to get a little pig in your diet, Bob. Mm -hmm. You know how that goes. And folks, you want a copy of Tom's recipe, just log on to bobredford.com and go to the sportsman's table, and it'll be right there. You know, I will tell you, you get a chance to teach kids how to cook. How rewarding is that while we're watching the fish cook here? I feel extremely fortunate, I really do. Us old chefs won't be around forever, so I've got to sculpt them for the future. And it's a two-year degree, uh, two semesters per year. So when I have students four semesters, you see them getting better and better on week uh, seven as opposed to week three. You know, their knife cuts get better, then they have more confidence, they're excited, and they're cooking well. And we've got a lot of past grads that are doing extremely well for themselves, some working in the big restaurants in New York City. We have 100% uh, job placement for culinary arts. That's awesome. Very proud mm. of that. Wow. And the fish is cooking. Mm. It is, it is. Mm. I'm going to get a little nice golden brown color on there. It looks like fish. All right, Bob, we're hearing the sizzle. We're seeing that nice golden brown and color. I got, the, I got the plate. Let's got plate it. it. Let's plate it. All right. Mm. All right. We've got a little uh, petite pasta here. Okay. Now, what does that mean? These are uh, small little uh, round balls of pasta. You know, pasta comes in all sorts yeah. of different shapes and okay. sizes. All right. We're going to put a little fresh baby spinach down there as well. Oh, yeah. And of course, Bob, we're in the uh, salt, so we have to get a little pig in our diet. Got a little bacon. Yeah, mm. you can see a little bacon in there. I don't know many people that dislike bacon here in the south. No, sir. Certified SC grill. There you go. Mm. Okay, again, this is our local snapper. It's in a uh, light egg batter. We're going to place that on top. That's a different look. That's awesome. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And it's nice and light. It's not heavy at all. And that's mm. what I like about it. We're going to garnish with some more vegetables. This one is called a batonet cut. Teach that knife cutting class at the college. There you go. This is a batonet. So <laughs> Jerry, the cameraman, he's grading me right now. I can tell. Listen, everybody's grading you. <laughs> Good stuff. Odd numbers are always best for eye appeal. Uh -huh. We got some uh, threes and twos in there. Threes and fives, always the way to go. We got all that good Look stuff. That. So, excellent, excellent. So put it all together. Okay. All right. Mm. Now we have to top it off with a little fresh squeezed lemon. Look at that. There we awesome. go. Lemon always goes with our uh, fish. So here we have it. We have a seared uh, beeliner snapper from our local Atlantic waters. It's in a light uh, egg batter over a petite toasted pasta, a little baby spinach, bacon, and some fresh vegetables. Tom, as always, thank you for being our thank guest you. chef today. And folks, listen, if you'd like more great menu items just like this, log on to certifiedscgrown.com. See what's fresh on your menu for yourself. And we'll be right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. We'll see you then. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at certifiedscgrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina-grown products. It's a matter of taste.